Hello everyone and welcome back to another part of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly where in this part we are joined by yet another guest commentator Bobbledink aka Rodri Hello YouTube watchers, I'm so happy to be here on Marx's channel at Yes, last. absolutely amazing So we have... Been, we've been like friends for... oh wait, I'll let him spoil it <laughs> The magic of this sacred rune will bestow upon you the power of ice breath Yep, so that's our last breath ability now, got, which is Ooh, really awesome. Lovely. Yeah, so... Should put on a little fanfare. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> so, in um, case you don't know, in yeah. this Let's Play we've defeated Ripto twice already. Uh, which is absolutely mental. The poor bugger just refuses to die. Not even lava can stop this one. Absolutely not. <laughs> So here we go, Ice Breath. So you just switch with left uh, bumper and fire with the uh, X button. Nice. Uh, I always love the um, little voices they give Spyro in the animations. It's like, you know, of all the things this game got right, that was definitely one of them. Like inserting more of Spyro's personality into the gameplay. Oh, absolutely. Definitely, yes. And I love this area up here. It's sort of like splits the paths yeah it's sort of like because you know obviously we've gems. all seen hopefully we've all seen the documentary that sort of explains a bit more of the story and what went on behind the scenes and why they had to rush the game oh, it yeah, feels definitely. like this was their best <laughs> hey, fluffy. It's fluffy yeah the three headed dog from uh, Harry Potter yeah. oh nice nice very oh, this guy wants to talk to me. I was working on a fantastic new experiment, but I suddenly disappeared from my laboratory. If you find some more of these dragonflies, I bet their magic could get this contraption working again. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's a very British Let's Play now, this. <laughs> you know, we're both I mean, from, from the UK and uh, we mentioned Harry Potter, so yeah, this is now <laughs> very British. Yeah, don't don't tell Connor you said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I was gonna say it's really cool to be here as well because we've known each other for about a year now. I think you know we've been friends for a while, and so it's good to finally be in your terrain, I guess. Oh, definitely. Before we go into Monkey Monastery, I thought I'd just collect all of these gems around here uh, to get that task done. Absolutely. Oh, come on, Sparks, you're worse than Zoe. Again, I mean, we've already done with these portals already. There's three of these in the home world, by the way. Yeah. Oh, the name, the, the word portals really oh, yeah. kind of you think annoying me. By now. Okay, so what's the challenge this time? Okay, that dragonfly is as good as free. Okay, so Spyro has joined the fire department. Very interesting. Yeah. It's very ironic for a dragon that breathes fire. Yeah. Ultimately. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, so what is your thought of the level we're about to go into then? Um, for me, hey, it's, it's, Masa. it's a case, right, of, like, I feel the quality of levels, interestingly, gets better as you progress in the game. And that's something that, you know, with, it, bar maybe the first game, I find in Spyro, Ripto's Rage, and Year of the Dragon, it's generally the stronger levels are put at the start of the game. Oh, you feel so like, for me, yeah. that was quite interesting that they chose to do it that way. Yeah, it's a very, very unique, like, sort of formula they went for with this game. As I've said as well, all of the levels are, like, circular as well. Yeah. So they sort of follow that same pattern there. I don't think that's a bad thing, Not though. necessarily, no, because, I mean... I've, I've, heard, um, I've heard people make that same accusation against Spyro, Year of the Dragon, but I find, you know, one, it helps with backtracking, and two, there's often... It does, yeah, because you get another go at it. But there's often something quite nice about seeing an area that you can't get to and then overcoming a challenge and getting to the end of it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. It's like, for example, Fracture Hills. It's like a U-shape. So if you get to one end, you've got to go all the way back to like three, uh, 
you know, let's say for example a Sati have missed. Oh yeah, absolutely. And that is very annoying. I mean, in some ways you could argue Fracture Hills and Magma Cone and even Breeze Harbour, like, was sort of the start of that trend, in Spyro especially, because I don't even think it's unique to this style of game. You see it in the Legends of Spyro, you definitely, definitely see it in A Hero's Tale. Oh, absolutely, yes. Yeah. And like I say, there's just something quite nice about, you know, starting where you finished. It's like you go on this journey, you overcome these, you know, adversities and obstacles, and then the reward is sort of, you know, being like, I was there, and now I'm here. <laughs> kind yes. of quite profound, you know? <laughs> it really is, yeah, honestly. Yeah. You, you know, seem to sort gives... of scatter loose gems around a lot in this game, if you haven't noticed. Yeah, I was going to say it gives money bags being like, oh, they're not all laid on the ground, are they? Are they? A whole new meaning, doesn't it? It does. Oh, there we go. Letting... We've got all the homeworld gems. And is this the last dragonfly? Lovely. If it will let me catch if it him. Will be caught. Hey, it's Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Yeah, so actually, yes. We've Who actually uh, these we've actually completed the homeworld in this game. What are these frozen in here? Oh, it's just ice. I, I thought it was no like a monster idea. trapped in, but it's like it's like ice reflection. Interesting. Could be the HD but textures. What's it reflecting? Yeah. Is it like magic ice where yeah, there's absolutely no is idea. invisible to the naked eye? I mean, it looks sort it's of like proof. they crushed Bartholomew into a little ball. It frozen. is a little, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I, I mentioned think... that yeah. the, well, yeah. spoilers if you haven't seen the game. So. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> but as I say, we better get on with this level because we've been in this is mostly the whole world part so far. So yeah, let's have a speak yeah, to this absolutely. guy. Yeah. If I can talk to the stupid, there we go. Great <laughs> job, young dragon. That should be enough to get my balloon working. Hop aboard. Yeah, it's like the first time we've like seen monkeys in this. Absolutely. Yeah. And I love Since, all like the, um, the days yeah. of Agent Nine and Oh definitely, yeah. Absolutely. The Avalopa Zoo. The geometry is so broken on these transports. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean Spyro It's actually wasn't quite funny if you think about base. it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how does this flying contraption work? Is there someone flying it or I mean, it's a machine. Yeah, there's no kind, driver. So. There's no driver. Mm. And there's like a bit of fire going up. So oh, it's like a hybrid hot air balloon whirly gig. Kind of is, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So here we this go. This music Monkey is Monastery. one of the best. I think this at the start already is already a good thumbnail. Yeah. Those unbalanced Riptox have invaded our sacred monastery. Of course, we practice divine compassion, so we really can't get involved in anything violent. Well, it's okay, you just have to explain that the sorceress turned them from gemstones, and then, yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah, what do you think Reference of this view the here? Game. This is magnificent. It really and you is. have a little dojo at the like bottom, and then one at the top. Again, it's just giving that sense of like... It is. Oh, you want to explore, you want to see this level. And it's just so annoying that the game waits so late in order to give us that feeling. It really is, yeah. Yeah. Does this give you like any vibes, this level, from, uh, let's say, other Spyro games? Uh, similar levels? Yeah, well, I mean, it's sort of... I mean, in some ways it reminds me of Bentley's Outpost, oh. in that there's the... Ooh. You didn't that's, mean to do that? Yeah, because it's Nintendo <laughs> controller, so that's where the, uh, I see. the... I assume you're playing the GameCube version, right? I am playing the GameCube version, and I'm yeah. using the Switch Pro controller. Ooh, so nice. the controls Very are a little bit different, like I might have previously yeah. mentioned in the Let's Play, so... Yeah. I've noticed there's some graphical differences. I mean, you might have spoken about this as well, in like the Atlas, the gem graphics, and stuff like that. Oh yes, hey, HD foamy. textures. Foamy. <laughs> I love that name. For me, yes, sort of weirdly relevant. It really is. There's a lot yeah. of irrelevant names for dragonflies in this <laughs> game. There really is, honestly. I mean, in some ways, this sort of feels like they took, you know, think early PS2 ice levels, you know, like sort of, you know, was it Shadow of the Colossus things like yeah. that, and just place Spyro in them, you know, give it that Spyro yeah. flair. And by the way, that's a part of the objective. That chest, the key is not till the end. It's, it's it's mental. You have to like go round again. Yeah. 
oh, the first time I played this when I was eight, that drove me insane. Because I assumed, like, I was missing two gems or something, and I assumed they were in that crate. Um, probably a bit of a spoiler again. Sorry, I know these games so well, so I apologize. Yeah. This sort I of speak like... to someone who played them. <laughs> Reminds me of like Ice Cavern combined with Icy Peak. Yeah, I get that. But like with maybe a bit of Lofty Castle, like... Snow Vibe sort of put in place. Yeah, see, I feel like maybe Icy Cavern is the closest in my mind in terms of vibe. I'd I was say gonna so. say, I was gonna say Frozen Altars, but I feel like the vibe is completely different. It is, yeah. Frozen Altars you know. like on a flat terrain, but this is like hilly and like in a yeah. castle. Oh, where's Bartholomew? Like... Oh, lovely. Spyro, I know you've heard that Yeti are scary monsters, but we are peaceful, which is why we live here in this once peaceful realm. The true monsters are the Riptox. And they've taken my kind and imprisoned them in the ice. Can you save the five Yeti with your flame breath? Sure can. Yeah. So, uh, is, is there someone you're forgetting to mention, Bartholomew? Like, that is a very maybe good question. a certain, certain bigger brother who speaks like Shakespeare and carries around an ice <laughs> Anyone you want to mention? No? Okay. Cool. I guess we're just Obviously retconning not. that. Yeah. The thing is, what's interesting is he says we live here. Because when I play Spyro here of the Dragon, I assumed Bentley's outpost was like his home. But I guess the term outpost implies that it's like uh, a holiday home or like sort of yeah, a like sort of like his base. Yeah. Can you glide like, around you know, that? He goes there when he's on work. Yeah, he or can. Something. Can actually glide around that thing. Okay, interesting. It's incredible. I have never known you could actually do that. Uh, so yeah, we're actually exploring here. We're learning new stuff. We are indeed. It's never too old, you know. Every day's a school day. Oh my yeah. jazz. We have, uh, what was it? You know, had, uh, not experienced, discovered. That's the word. Uh, why am I not even yeah. remembering that word? Uh, a uh, speedrunning strat. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Eat your heart out, yes, Wally one. <laughs> Yeah, it is the speed run of this game. I don't know if he uses Absolutely. that strap. It probably does, but I don't know to be fair. Yeah, you know, I mean, I commend anyone who speed runs this game. Yeah, this. I do. <laughs> it's just the irony of speed running hey, it's one of the slowest Holly. games. In history. Especially if you do it on a PAL PS2 console. That is laggy as hell. Yeah. I know I'm speaking from the point of view of someone who, you know, has played this game and knows it well, but. They really missed a trick not giving the dragonflies their own uh -oh. personalities and like. I sort of like got some unique down animations. <laughs> and by the way. Oh, I'm back oh, at the start. No. Come on. See, where are you, Zoe? You that know, she forms good. this Where is Zoe? Surely we should have hit her by now. <laughs> At least she forms once. this like, romantic attachment with Sparks, and then she yeah. bolts. You know, obviously they had a nasty breakup or something. Must have done. But I mean, I've, I've absolutely <laughs> no idea. All the enemies are dead. That would not have happened in the original Spiral game. They've made some odd choice with this game. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say the one I'm confused by is why they didn't like invest in giving the dragonflies unique personalities like they did. Ouch. You know, the dragon eggs or the dragons in Spyro 1. Yeah. And why does not Flame work on that oh, even when the charge. shield's out? Interesting. It's charge only. Yeah. I never even uh, remembered that. Yeah. But it's easier to flame because you get like, yeah. Yeah. No, it, it's weird. Like, it Spyro really is. 3, in my view, did, you know, God's work in terms of standardizing oh, it, oh, the it, flame charge. Yeah. It split. absolutely did. Yeah. And, and by this the game way, comes along and ruins it again. Yeah. Ah! Oh, I, <laughs> I am not doing very well today. Uh, nice. Well, it's actually I was tonight. I going to say, it's... this is the worst speedrun I've ever seen. Yeah, pretty much. This is this is what speedrun is like in the, uh, you know, when you have fun. Oh, dear. Yeah, absolutely. Nintendo controls, Marcus. Uh, by the way, <laughs> I am not being rude or interrupting or anything. When NPCs start talking to them when you're in the middle of a sentence, they just pretty much suck me to them. Oh yeah, absolutely. Which is very annoying. Greetings.
Greetings, young dragon. I believe the turret behind you could be a very useful weapon for you to use on your quest. We use it for our annual snowball war. Oh, it's quite an event. Although we are a non-violent people, we do have our vices. Perhaps you might want to glide over there and try it out. Yeah, see, that thing. would be cool to see in this level or something. Like, you know, maybe a snowball mini game where it's like you versus all of yetis versus the monks you know oh, something absolutely. big and to see the potential you know this was potentially meant to be like the biggest spiral game ever made but apparently because of development oh. issues that never happened i'll never not be upset about it and <laughs> I, i'm just saying you know microsoft now that i know you've bought those rights yeah you, know, you, you can do something good with this game i remember big things you cannot get that big. one yet uh, you want to get the one over there yeah, there we go. Which I don't even need to, because I've already uh, done that section anyway. It's weird how even when the gun's down, the bullets... There you there are, There you Zoe. are, Zoe, yes. <laughs> Could have done with you half an hour earlier. Exactly. Well, well, I don't know how long it we've probably, been It probably has much. been going on for half an hour, actually. Uh, yeah. Probably not, but you know. Uh, oh, let's make this a five-hour part. Come on, let's yeah. go. <laughs> you know what, ice is pretty, so we can stare at that for five hours. Yeah. It's it's barely watching paint dry. Oh, the, the ice place. texture is very nice. Actually. It is actually, yeah. I don't know if that's part they of the get HD shadow textures. Very point on. Yeah, but the HD texture pack for yeah. this is really nice. It really is. See, this is the thing about the game. When they had time to put the textures in, they did them very well. They did, and it's just a shame that they're so inconsistently applied across the game because. You know, even with the game being as short as it was, it could have, you know, been so much crisper. Yeah. And I want to point out as well, this big open area here is beautiful. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they definitely did make they... beautiful levels in this game. They really did. You know what? I, I wouldn't be surprised if these, like, dojo areas were early inspiration for things like... Um, Oh, is it? It's not Gormitty, it's... No, Ninjago. Lego oh, Ninjago. Yeah. Um... Help, Spyro! These flying riptocks are well, a menace! Do, do, oh, I think they're guarding the Yeti's could, could you maybe let me kill these riptocks? <laughs> yeah, they're like attacking you in the cutscene, but you're not getting hurt, so that's... It's like... Help, go, help! Go, these riptocks are attacking me! It's this. like, well, maybe stop me, they're talking and let me... me. Yeah. Like, leave me alone. So they made some strange choices with the um, voices of these monks as well. Like, some of them don't sound at all like you'd expect them to they be. They really like, don't, honestly. Or whatever. I don't know what they did with the Heroes Tale Sparks voice. No, interesting fact, the voice actor of Sparks in this game was the only voice actor to come back to Spyro. After oh. this game, from this voice cast, yeah, that's very interesting because Sparks changed yeah. his voice altogether uh, in, in Hero's Tale. And yeah, to be honest, no, it's, it's the same guy. It's just he's speaking instead of. Yeah, buzzing. I don't understand why they did that because Sparks' voice was so nice, and it, I mean there were subtitles anyway. Yeah, and I mean if a blind Plus, it was person was funny playing, hearing him go. Yeah. See, the thing is, I feel what was good about Sparks' voice was like. In Spyro 3, you heard it for the speedways, and it was like cute and funny and everything. Whereas here, he does all of Zoe's heavy lifting, and it sort of becomes a bit like, okay, we get it, you're a dragonfly, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's like that right, re meme uh, Ryan shares. You got a problem with that? You brought a dragon to Avala? You got a problem with that, pussy? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. What's interesting about A Hero's Tale, though, is that even though it sort of ended what would be this original era Spyro, except for Shadow Legacy, yeah, it's just a DS game, and that's which when it really should have been a DS2. You know, even when you fire those off into the skybox, it still makes a crashing noise. Yeah. So very much like like, like Ice of Peak, that. Yeah. But you're getting a, more of a collectible than just red gems, so that's that's nice to see at least. Yeah. I really want to know how this releasing the dragonfly from defeating the challenge works as well. Yeah, because the normally... dragonfly like comes from midair. 
Yeah, where it's like in Spyro 3, for example, there'd be like an animation of like an egg, an egg combusting out of... Yeah. Well, it, it will be like, you know, in the rocket and fireworks factory, for example. It's a good thing you came along when you did, Dragon. Very... See, that sounds like Bentley, so why couldn't they have like had Bentley in this They could have had episode? Bentley as one of the frozen dragons. They actually really oh, could have done. Oh, I'm just, yeah, annoyed. Yetis, you mean, by the way. <laughs> He's not a dragon. <laughs> I actually like Bentley, you know, as a character. I really do. Honestly, I feel like, you know, those side characters were so cute and likeable, all of them, that it's almost like you just, you know, you just want to free them. Oh, forgot like... to take that ice down. Can I make it round here? Yes, you can. Yeah. So another yeah, one quite then. Easily. Yeah, that was that, that was probably easier <laughs> than the last time. Oh, and there's the key yeah. for that stupid chest that we saw at the start. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have great trouble on this bit. Oh yeah, these platforms are sort of bounce about, but it sort of throws all your control off. Yeah, but I, also the hovering, ah, so, see yeah. what I mean? It's so unreliable. I know exactly what you mean, yes. See, normally the purpose of the hover, right, is at yeah. the end of the glide, it gives you a bit of extra height. Ouch. Here yeah. it sort of halts you mid-flight. It does so a bit, you have to yeah. Be very exact with yeah. your glides. Especially have some of the hitboxes like on the ice piece there, sort of. Yeah. Thinner. Like you almost have to be hugging the edge of that one before you hover. Yeah. There we go. This is like an early warning or a taste of what's to come in Hero's Tale, because that happens a lot yeah. in that game. They so, do a lot of... They have a lot of strange choices in that game. Yeah. And in a way I understand it because... Oh, I'm going to go into a... A mini game. Little portal. Which but don't come to a dead game, end. But it takes ages to get there. Yeah. Which well, don't go into an <laughs> empty room or a dead end like it did in the last level. So that's at least. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't understand what they were trying to achieve with that. Uh, I really don't. Yeah, I mean the thing is, like, you've got to respect to Hero's Tale had to follow this game, so they had to make a lot of drastic changes. Um, oh, absolutely. But Byro, they still didn't make sense. Your land and are constructing tort factories to destroy the monastery. Do you think you can destroy all the Riptop factories with the Spitfire plane? Destroy the Riptop turret factories? Yeah. Factories are like toy-like houses. Yeah. Have you seen the size of them things? Yeah. And that says I can't remember what button you get to press. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's X in PS2. I don't know what it is for GameCube. Yeah. Yeah, see, the thing is, this is another missed trick, right? Because they could have made this an area that you explore. You know, like, have gems scattered around it, maybe a few dragonflies hidden in some caves That would have worked really well. It's just a... it's such a wasted environment. And then also, I mean, something I do like about the game in general is the... bringing some of the baby dragons back as, like, NPCs that you chat to. I don't understand why they chose to use him here, though. Same, exactly. Yeah. It made sense in Dragonfly Dojo where the dragons, you know, <laughs> get their dragonflies. Pretty like, much, but what's not What's a baby all dragon levels? doing out here all by herself? You know? It would have been nice if like each level had like, its own collectible. That's a good idea for a new Spyro game if everyone's ever made, actually. Yeah. Now these gongs here, I wonder if you can actually ring them. Take note, Activision or Microsoft, yeah. or whoever's <laughs> doing it. Absolutely should. <laughs> no, you cannot. It's just a solid object. Okay, that's. See, not it would have been cool if you could like fire a missile into that and the gong goes off. You know. Yeah, Little that's what details, I was trying to do. You know. Yeah. This is what you want in a Spyro oh, well, game. Here, I found this dragonfly in one of the factories. Why don't you take it? You know what that voice reminds me of? You know, Handel and uh, Greta from. Yeah. Oh, what, from, um, yes. In fact, yes. That's, that's the same Fireworks voice as Caroline Lawrence. Yay. Well, actually, it's Caroline Lawrence in uh, hey, Spyro 3 in this game. But I'm not sure who does it in Spyro 2. I think it might be Melissa Disney. The rip just keep their Look factories. at the monkey models so over there. Destroy that's them anytime you really want. nice. Yeah. Destroy the rip top turret factories? I've already done it, so if you do it again, okay. you don't get anything. Come back yeah. later if you can help us out. Also, the wording's confusing. It's like, oh, they just keep destroying it, but you can do it if you want and help us out. Yeah. Maybe not. Okay. It's like, no, you you want to feel like you've saved the day, you know. What we're gonna do is we're gonna invite more and more enemies in just to give you work to do, for fun. Yeah. Uh, no thanks. Like. <laughs>
I'm I'm sorry, you know, go to war for fun. Since when is war? Fun? <laughs> is this is this a pro war game? I've absolutely no On, idea. Know Don't <laughs> even ask, really. Yeah. Right here we go. Back this into is the main why level. I vote the way I do, so that I don't have to deal with this, you know. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Speaking of voting, <laughs> there was an election today. I totally forgot to vote. Banter. So, absolutely, that is not me at all. So <laughs> I, I got Whoa, that excited. What's going on there? To <laughs> so, uh, go to TGI Friday. Uh, I totally forgot about the voting. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Whoa! What happened? I feel like an ice lolly. Did those rip talks put me on ice? He gads. Thank you, Spyro. Which will like cryogenically <laughs> freezes him. <laughs> you know that the Yetis is something I feel they got right here. Like the char the characterization so in keeping with sort of Bentley's style. Yep. And where does that rocket go to? Please don't tell me I've got to backtrack. I don't. Oh no! It, I know where it goes. Oh yes. Well, there you have it. I didn't even need that rocket then. That's what I mean. They make some odd design <laughs> choices with this game. They really have. Uh, like, did if, they test it? Like, they should have made it that you couldn't glide without that. You know? Yeah. Or surely they should have tested this game. Uh, did I get a gem? Oh, there? they yeah. didn't test it. You know that. Yeah, there were no <laughs> testing done for this game. No. Speaking of Spyro Falls, though, um, I've heard one of the community members, Travis the Dragon, is working on a fan game in Dreams at the moment. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I have Dreams for the PS4, yeah. so, uh, yeah. So, shout out to Travis the Dragon. Absolutely. I can't play it, but you're probably me off great. Guard, Spyro. Many thanks for your help. Of course. Uh, I love the names as well. Good stuff. And this, <laughs> these guys have respawned. Why? But for no reason. Exactly. You, you go into a sub area, it respawns. This feels like the. Um, have you ever seen The Incredibles? Yes, it's I have. Up. Yes. Yeah. You know, he goes into that ramp where it's like, can't the world just stay saved? <laughs> I mean, it's like I'm a mage here. I just cleaned up this mess. Why can't you keep it clean inside? You know, it feels a bit like that, you know? But yes. Just, careful. You do not want to miss this glide. I do not. not I nearly did then. Otherwise. That would be the whole lap of backtracking. Cheerio, Spyro. That's a good dragon. Awesome. See, that That to me sounds more like Sergeant Bird than... It actually you know, does. It really Yeti. does. You know, cheerio. Yeah. I thought I missed something up there, but up, this up. one you got to be careful. Because you can fall off. If, if you fall off the side, oh, like, you get this dragon. Oh, this one's a pain. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's Damsel. Damsel in distress? Yeah. I was just thinking the same thing. You know, Peach from Mario uh, comes to mind uh, for every yeah. single game. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I was gonna say, why can't Peach save Mario for a change? Yeah. Come on, female and. But as I and said, if you rescue that dragonfly and you fall down there, the game crashes, and we'd have to literally redo this whole level again. Well, there we go, guys. Five-hour let's play part. <laughs> yep. Imagine if we had to like loop and do it all again. In that case, I'd probably do a cut because that would be ridiculous. Oh yeah, absolutely. But the first time I ever played through this level and I did that, I could have screamed. Oh yeah, absolutely. Imagine if you were like eight years old and you struggled through like choppy frame rates, long loading times just to lose your yeah, progress. It, it's bad enough doing it on this, which plays like a remastered version of a game. Yeah. But because it actually just played quite well on this. But. Honestly, yeah, I would, I wouldn't not support a remastered version, but yeah, one that same. you know drastically improves. Like a new trilogy, problems. yeah, yeah. This game, Heroes Tale, maybe another game. I don't know. I uh, mean, honestly, this is what I'd do if I was in charge of Spyro. Like, I'd you yeah. know commission a new trilogy that serves as a follow-up to Spyro: Year of the Dragon. That's what I mean. If we have a because... year of a dragon length game, we could actually stick that in a trilogy with a hero's tale in this game, possibly. Um, yeah, absolutely. It could be doable. Well, the thing is, as well, if you think about how Year of the Dragon ends, it ends with like them and the baby dragons, but a lot is still sort of left unanswered. It is. It absolutely is. You know, is. there's there's like no dialogue in that final scene, yeah. and you're sort of like, well, what now? That's actually but a really same... good idea. 
Yeah, absolutely. But at the same time, I feel like that's kind of what it was. You know, it was a, well, anything can happen now. Yeah. Welcome to our ancient slide, Spyro. Get to the bottom before time runs out. Sliding between flags will give you more time. If you can make it to the bottom in time, I'll have a special prize for you. That Bro, music is loud. Slide. It sounds okay to yeah. me. So these slides are really fun. I'm just going to say that. Oh, this was such a great addition. It really is. I'd say this is probably one of my favourite challenges. It kind of reminds us, you know, like the, uh, probably the Cool Borders games. Yeah. Because I had those on the PS1 as a kid. But you see, it's weird that they got this bit right and yet the Speedway race is so wrong. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this literally feels like, you know, the skate board oh. challenges I'm missing them slideful. you jump straight over that though come on I mean that is just silly <laughs> honestly this is a missed yeah. opportunity to have a skill point oh Go definitely the flag. The I mean this with this field of view as well looks really oh, nice yeah. too uh, that's not how you yeah, do this the obstacle can I glide no not. I cannot yeah Losing momentum, not great. Yeah, you've got to keep the momentum also, that's going. That's a terrifying drop because they didn't even render a like fog or anything. You're literally falling into a void. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping everyone can hear this alright because this music is loud. Oh, I can hear it fine. Oh, uh, brilliant. I, mean, I don't, I don't know what the recording looks like. I could talk much closer to my microphone if that helps you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, go on, let's see if you can go through all the flags. Yes, I'm gonna try. Oh, I... You, well, you can't... The, yeah, okay. They put these Diverging in, paths. Yeah. yeah. To put these Although maybe invisible. it could be like yeah. going through the flags this side yeah. and then on that side on the other one. Yeah, we could try that, yeah. Try go the other direction. Yeah. I don't know if there's any major difference, but... Might as well, well explore it. Yeah. The thing is, I always go that direction, so I don't really remember what the other one looks like. Now, don't... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we go. You see, these penguins mess your momentum up. Yeah. No! Ah! Oh, I jumped too no! soon. Yeah, so, I just want to say, this is brutal. Down there. Well, no. I love how passive-aggressively sarcastic yeah. that monkey's been. So, yeah, you let's know. go for the right path hey, this time. have you ever tried just not falling? Yeah. No! The thought never occurred to yeah. me. Well, that's what I mean. They put these, like, spikes on the track. You'll see them at the end of certain ramps, like where the diverging path starts, and you cannot see them. Hardly. Yeah. Like, what is that? Should oh, we see where like the other here. one goes? Yeah, well, might as well. While we're at it. Uh, watch us, like, be here all night, like, doing this one, like, little challenge. <laughs> Obviously, Five spikes hour, let's on the, play yeah. part, here we go. Yeah, you can see like little spikes Ooh, on the track. This is interesting. Up. It is. It like, it's a little bit of a tunnel. It's, 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 not, Whoa. it's not more of a left or right, it's either like a uh, above or down under path, really. Yeah. Come on. Yes, there we go. Yeah, there we so go. all I've got to do now is get to the quick, bottom quick, quick. with the time. Oh dear, I think I'm going to be pushing this one. Oh, 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 I think oh, oh, I'm pushing oh, oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. No. Ah. Oh, you were literally there. I just there. missed it. Uh, so this most impressive. Most impressive, but not a slider yet. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. It's like the game's trying to taunt you. It really you is. Your controller. That's what it's trying to do. But it shan't work. Yes. I think I'm gonna go for the. Uh, I think the left path or the above path. Yeah, that one's probably. It's got the better up. flags, cause they're all they're all red on the. Uh, if you go right. Well, no, I mean there were some green and yellow ones, but I think it's also the split of how they're spaced out. It is. Like you can rack up more time. Yeah. Uh, in quicker succession. There's less spikes this way as well. Yeah. If I'm struggling... See, it took you, like, less than three seconds to build yeah. up 15 seconds, so... If this is 4K resolution and I'm struggling to see them spikes, it must have been a nightmare. People must have been, like, not knowing what they've been hitting yeah. when they played it on the original consoles. They must have thought the game's broke. Yeah. 
I mean, it largely it depends what. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, actually, I see what you mean. That is really weird. It's kind I of guess stupid. it depends how the emulator affects it oh, as well. Okay, this guy's looking in the wrong direction. <gasps> Very impressive slide work. Here, I found this dragonfly. So I would have loved to have had some here. gems on this slide. Or something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, it's cute. Cuba, it's nice. He forgot the cube. It's like when people call me Bobble and not Bobble Dink. Yeah, that. I can see why that's annoying. Yeah. Well, it's like, come on, it's not Would a swear like word. D I N K. Again? In that case, yes, because there is another dragonfly, but it's harder this time. Yeah. So this is going to be great fun. There's a penguin already. See, something like this would be fun to do in real life as well. It really would. They've actually got skiing and snowboarding uh, centre near me. Really? Yeah, it's uh, called Escape. It's like, it's basically pretty much it. It was a leisure centre, but now it's pretty much just a huge indoor amusement park now. Uh, we could literally do a real life Spyro Let's Play right in your leisure centre. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the time limit on this is very tight. Oh yes, absolutely. I will see now, yellow flags, flags give you, yeah, there's yellow flags that give you like two seconds. Yeah. You want to try and get all the flags here? I, I can try my best. Yeah. It's not really that much I different to the last find slide. The, um, see, normally when I'm playing Spyro games, like the original trilogy, go, I, I use this. direct buttons. Yeah. Here, if you use the analog sticks, the turns yeah. are much sharper. You have to use the analog stick for this game anyway. Uh, Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. probably oh, controls better with Nintendo actually. version. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Very impressive slide work. Here, well, you can use I either. This dragonfly wandering around down uh, here on PS2, but it's much better with the analog. Yeah, it is. I've tested it myself, and I can, I can as a D-pad lover, I can confirm that even. Yeah. <laughs> you can always come back to practice Hashtag the slide back if you the like. D-pad. We find it quite calm yes. after a hard day of meditation. Would you like to try our peaceful slide again? Uh, no. <laughs> considering. No. Thank, Thank you very much. You know, especially considering that there's only two dragonflies, there's little point. Yeah. I didn't two even take notice, was that even the no same gems. monkey? I think so. Yeah, because it slid all the way to the bottom, that's really weird. Yeah, How where does get the there? monkey go? Is there a secret lift? I have absolutely no idea, but that is or not see, fair. See that? See, that would be fun to explore, because if they did have a lift that you could then go up and maybe collect gems or something, could then be like, oh, did I not mention there was a staircase? <laughs> oh, silly me! Oh, very silly indeed. <laughs> yeah. And like maybe a whirlwind to bring you back to the top of the slide, yes. so then the, the staircase gets revealed after the second slide down. Yeah. What is going on with your animation, Spyro? I have absolutely no idea. What is it doing? It's just uh. bouncing on his ass. <laughs> 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 that weird, was very weird, weird sight. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, the animation to this game pretty broke. I can, I can, I can confirm <laughs> this game was not tested. How did he even pass quality control? That's where I want to know. I don't know. Honestly, if you were put in charge of quality hey, control, I don't think we'd have this game right now. Pretty much. It's all like got a China or Asian theme to it as well, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, definitely there the we dojo Gems. look. Wow, see normally I'm missing one or two, so very impressive. Yeah. And I, I know exactly have... where that last dragonfly is. Don't you have a Yeti to free as well? I think I freed them all. Oh, but I have to collect the dragonfly, of course, oh. yes, so I've got to go back to Bartholomew for that. Yeah. Hey, it's young! <laughs> yep. I think we could all use some of that right We're now. Oh young, yep. Yeah. Cool. So our friend Lucas is basically one of the elderly at this point. Pretty much. Yeah, Shout I'm a... Luke. Oops. Yep. But I'm an oldest child in my family, so... Yeah. Well, I'm the youngest, but I'm still <laughs> yeah. old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've got a big family. Uh, anyway, let's <laughs> speak to you, guy. Uh, and give me that dragonfly. Spyro! I know you've heard that Yeti are scary monsters. But we are peaceful, which is why we live here in this once peaceful realm. The true monsters are the Riptox, and they've taken my kind and imprisoned them in the ice. 
Can you save the five yeti with your flame breath? I'm sure I've done that already. No, I think there was one you... Spira. If you go to the top of the spinning tower, you you'll see it. Scary oh, yes, I remember that one now. So at least I can go back to it. Yeah. Really yeah. cool. You can backtrack. Yes. And there's no gems to collect, MT so I can just knock these guys down. Right. <laughs> yes, MT backtrack. Awesome. Nice. See, there we go. There's yeah, because the there was originally Marcus, just Marcus nice. Terry. Uh, and obviously... Uh, there was no Bedford? Nope. Not until I was nine. For shame, MTV. For shame. Uh, how are you meant to even get up to that? The whirlwind. A whirlwind. The whirlwind behind you. Oh, that one. Oh, I I, I always like okay. spend forever. <laughs> I always spend like forever like trying to figure out how to actually get yeah. there, and I find out it's that whirlwind in the end. So you've actually Luckily, saved me a bit of time there. Luckily, with a seasoned Spyro pro. Pretty much, yes. Yeah. This is why I can't yeah. wait. Until when they release Spyro 4 to see oh, how long yes. it takes me to figure it out and how difficult they make it and everything. Oh, absolutely. Uh, so here we go. Yeah, this game okay. looks really nice. You know, obviously uh, rendered in these HD resolutions and everything. Oh, yeah. absolutely. See, I feel like this level feels the most like an original trilogy level in terms oh, of its layout. I like well. the cold. Yeah. It's very but airy. I don't like it that much. Absolutely. There we go, last one. But it might have not worked well in an original trilogy this level because I don't think this level would have worked too well uh, in conjunction with the uh, you know the low polygons in the distance. That sort of like when you get close, it loads up, you know, sort of like in more detail. Yeah. So well, I'm sure they would have like PS oneified it if they wanted to do it. Yeah. PS1. But I can't see it have working too well in this level with the details it has. So, let's find out if I've done this challenge. Thank you, Spyro. The Yeti will always welcome you with open arms. There we go. Hey, hey it's Jewelwing. Jewelwing, what Jewelwing. kind of name even is that? That's me, that's me. I need to have a word with the dragons or, and or dragonflies that <laughs> give them these names. Yep. They just make no sense. They absolutely do not. I have no idea. So, while we're at it, we might as well do another lap of level to go back to the return home portal. Yeah. I was going to say, I assume it's just a race to the finish now. Yeah. And I love, if you listen quietly, wind sound. It really does suit this sort of like, uh, you know, sort of like canyon there. Ouch. Honestly, whenever I'm like out in the open or like on top of a hill or something um by the way the spyro franchise has made me fall in love with like mountain views and things like that oh absolutely i yeah. just think the of this boxes. soundtrack yeah the sky boxes have i just think amazing. of like oh here we go these guys again <laughs> i just think of being alone on top of like you know a mountainous range just taking in the majesty of the, Look at the view world it's amazing. It's this is so like, you know, yeah. a Lego set come to life or something. It is. These kinds of it's aspects. It's a beautiful level. But as I say, playing honestly. this on Dolphins, like, the closest we're going to like get this to, uh, you know, obviously, uh, the game it was meant to be. But it's really nice. Absolutely. It gives you a good taste. Oh, Ouch. attack me. Well, of course, at the moment, but there are those people working Ouch. on a reignited version of this. Yay! Fan made, obviously. Oh, definitely. And I am not doing these platforms again because. Uh, oh, can I yeah, even make no, this way? the wrong part. Then. <laughs> yeah. Can I get out Ooh. without these guys attacking me? Nope. Oh yes, there we go. It just Ooh, floats nice. into the wall. <laughs> does it, yeah. The portal like goes nowhere. Smacks into the wall and somehow yeah. is back on that thing. How does that work? I've absolutely no idea. Question the developers. <laughs> absolutely. But this this has been like an amazing <laughs> level. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Oh, absolutely. I've had a lot of fun being here, actually, Marcus. Thank you so much for inviting yeah, me. Yeah, absolutely no problem, and it's been amazing having you on for a uh, Let's Play part. Absolutely. And, guys, he'll be back on my channel again soon enough, so yeah, look and, out uh, for that. Well, of course, I'll be having Rodrigo on again soon, if I could think of another Spiral game to Let's Play. Uh, I might go back to the original trilogy, we will see. Oh, amazing. I love that. Well, that would be nice. <laughs> 
Yeah. And guys, um, subscribe to me. I'm Bobbledink. Yes, a uh, link will be put in the description as well. So, uh... nice one. Yeah. I'm doing Spyro Let's Plays, video essays, all sorts. Um, been a bit missing in action for a while, but I plan to return to it real soon. So, look out yeah, for that. Yeah, absolutely real stuff. So, as we make our way down here, uh, any closing comments? Um, uh, nothing much, uh, more than what I've just said, really. Like, it's yeah. a great level. We have um, had a I've long had a time. time being here. Yeah. We have had yeah. a long time, so I think we've discussed what we probably need to discuss for this part, so, uh... Yeah. What, what's the time gone up to, out of curiosity? I, I'm not too sure as of yet, because I'm, like, away from a computer. There'll probably be an overlay being like, lol, just look at the timestamp <laughs> in the comment, you know? Um... But yeah, no, thank you so much for inviting me. Um, yep. For all its faults, I really do love this game and have such fond memories of playing it. Um, and it has some of the best soundtracks of Spyro. And we're not I doing Ripto think. again. I think two times <laughs> a So far, three times, yeah. So. So. Just die already, Ripto. Yeah. And, and then in, it has the, to uh, come back for in the next part, believe it or not, we're having a collab as well. So I uh, hope we're all looking forward to that one. Nice one. I uh, will we'll, uh, be in the comments watching. And we'll definitely be dropping a link everywhere for this as well. So, uh, yeah, so hopefully we're going to get Zed, Insomnia Campbell on when we do uh, Honey Marsh, which is this place right here. So, uh, I think I'm going to leave it here because we've gone on for quite long. If I just open the guidebook, you will see uh, we only have three more levels to do when we're done. Wow. Apart from obviously Ooh, Ripto again. Up this game. It's incredible. Yeah, it is, yeah. It would have taken a lot longer on console, but I'll say this has been very fun. So, uh, Amazing. yeah. Amazing. Yeah, so thank you so much, Rodri, for coming on my channel, and thank you so much, all of my viewers, for watching. It has been a really fun part, so uh, I think I'm going to wrap this up here, so of course... Bobble Dink out. Yes, Bobble Dink out, and uh, yeah, oh, I've pressed that stupid button again. <laughs> That's a great way to end the Let's Play part. Uh, I'm oh, still not getting the controls really right. Outro, is it? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, I'll wrap this up now, so of course, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next week, so I hope you have a good one, and I will catch you all then. <laughs>